Hello and welcome back. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I'm here in my Boca Raton office again with the rescue case. Um, uh, tooth number position is 18. This is a fractured tie base abutment, a tie base abutment. And if we look at the diameter of the tie base component that's in the crown, we're going to show you how much thickness the walls have. And so if you're doing a tie base case, um, there is the actual thickness. So if we measure that, that's definitely less than a millimeter in thickness. Um, but it has a certain vertical height. No problem with the vertical height. It's more of the horizontal thickness that was the problem. You can also see kind of like a flat end for uh, anti rotation, and so that's even thinner in that point. How it fractured, why are there fracture uh, in there? Um, anybody's guess? Um, perhaps uh, we were dealing with a cast too. It could have been a cast too, or it could have been just a, a prefabricated milled uh, component. At any rate, this is the evidence we have on one end. In the mouth is the other. We're going to head on over to this, this site, and we're going to use uh, something called a microsuction. And I'm going to let Ron close a little bit. Give him a little. I'm going to let you open, Ron, and then rest a little bit. There you go. Muscles get tight. Got to loosen them up a little bit. Now we're going to go in and use microsuction. So this is the tip. It's a small gauge, 20 gauge uh, component. I'm going to go all the way down inside to the base of the implant. Complete base. There we go. All the way down. Perfect fit. And now we're going to venture down and actually look and measure with the periodontal probe. Okay, so here's my perio probe. And I'm going down uh, one close to three, four, close to five millimeters. May I please have the Stroman box? Open it up, please. That's okay. You can just hand it to me. I'll do it. It's right in the middle. Cotton pliers right there, please. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to pull out a replica of the implant. This is just a used replica. We'll just take a look at it right now. Uh, something I'm pulling out of a box not to be used in the patient's mouth. Lock that up, please. Thank you. So, moving the camera over to the side. Here we go. So, if I were to measure in millimeters, this is exactly the same. This is the same depth that I'm going to have. So you're looking at uh, close to five, maybe four millimeters in depth. Inside, you'll see that there are four little key indexes. Right now, we just don't know which index goes where because the internal aspect of the tie base is round. So we'll select one. We'll go as far as we can. Uh, as far as thickness is concerned, Let's go back to that of the crown. Th this will tell you the exact thickness itself. So you're dealing with, uh, you know, maybe a tenth of a millimeter in thickness, maybe two tenths of a millimeter. So it's not much, not much at all. So the burr we're going to use is a quarter round. So look at the diameter of this burr, and it's going to be almost the exact depth diameter of the burr. So it's not much you're drilling. You're just going in, just scoring first, and then drilling through, and then go to the other side, and then fitting an instrument, a Hollenbeck instrument, uh, to that. And um, we're going to utilize this so when we go in, we'll have the ability to go back and forth. We might even pick a larger Hollenbeck that we'll have hiding somewhere uh, when that time comes, all right? Because the diameter is key. So let's go in and see if we can put a little bit of pressure on this um, fractured abutment. Let's see if it comes out without any drilling. That's my my hope uh, is to uh, to do it in a conventional way versus a drill out method. So here we go. We're back in the mouth. We're going to introduce the uh, the instrument. You can see the diameter. And we're going to wiggle that back and forth, back and forth. 
to see if we get any micro movement and uh, turn it a little bit and wiggle it a little bit just to see if anything were to come free and obviously nothing there so been down this road before many times so we're gonna go ahead and move forward with this operation Okay. Okay. So we're going to pre dip. Now we're going to use something from Crisco. And this is their um, shortening. Uh, but it's a gel. It's almost like a gel of, of oil, which is what you want. You want the filings to go into the um, into that that base. All right. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Okay, alignment is key. Out, oh, please. Okay, so I'm going to start the scoring process. And we can actually measure off the shaft. So if there's any question with regard to that, let's go back to that, um, that abutment. So this is a replica. So you're going to measure the depth. Okay, so it goes almost down to the length of the shaft itself. All right. So just a little bit shy to that, so that's good. That's a good gauge. That's why you don't go too far. Okay, come on back in the mouth. Drop in the magnification to 3.5. And now we're going to make our way back into this abutment. And just zoom in. Pre-dip, of course and just follow the bouncing ball. So we're going to rinse that out. Take a look. Out please. Thank you. There's our score line. <coughs> Drop right back in place. That's where we were. Fulcrum off the teeth. And prep. We'll rinse it out. Okay, out please, thank you. And there's our score line. Now we're going to follow it down. So I'm going to go off the video now, and we're just going to create two slots, basically, so using the same technique. I'll be back with the third segment to place the instrument. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. We'll see you on the third segment.